minutes now and go to Abia State in southeast Nigeria. Yet another attack on a police formation in the state where we understand that two police officers have been killed. At least five of the government will raise the Abia State Police Criminal Investigation Department at Umuagu in Umahia. The state capital have been killed by the police. According to the police, the hoodlums were killed during a gun duel with men and officers of the command. The gunmen who attacked the facility of state police CID also released some of the inmates. This Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're listening to me currently. It's me again, your beautiful presenter, Agbaji Onome. Alright, welcome to another beautiful show on Nebu TV. So, what do we have for today's news? Governor Okeze Ikezu of Abia State has said that the issue of injustice must be addressed in Nigeria as some of the agitations are jamming. Ikezu won against the outbreak of another civil war in the pursuit of the creation of Biafra. The governor in an interview warned that violence is not the way to achieve the creation of Biafra nation insisting that there are better means of going about it. Ikezu, however, said the issue of injustice must be addressed as some of the agitations were jamming but waved aside the sit-at-home order by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, adding that it does not recognize the group. According to him, he doesn't believe in Biafra through the barriers of Gorn because he saw a little bit of civil war and he doesn't want that kind of thing to repeat itself in Nigeria and he doesn't see the prospects of that venture and don't want anything that will be suicidal. Ikezu did not, however, fail to admit that it is difficult to prescribe an ideology. He further said if Biafra is a metaphor for agitation against injustice in a way, then there is Biafra in the heart of every Nigeria. Recall that IPOB led by Nandikanu had issued the No Movement Directive to mark what it termed the Biafra Day, a reference to May 30th, 1967, the day the General Yakubu Gowan-led federal government declared a full-blown war with the then Eastern Regional Government, headed by the late Emeka Odumegu Ojuku, for declaring the section of the country an independent nation to be known as the Republic of Biafra. Already, various state governments in the region have reacted to the directive by IPOB with warnings to troublemakers to stay off the zone. Tension is mounting in the five states of the southeast zone of the country as the sit-at-home order issued by the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra began 31st of May 2021. Governor David Umahi of Ebony State, for instance, had in a statewide broadcast on Saturday 29th of May 2021 threatened to seize any shop which owner refused to open on 31st of May in defense to the IPOB order just as he ordered security agents to shoot at sight anyone trying to attack security personnel. In Imo State, some 48 hours to the D-Day commercial and social activities were paralyzed on Saturday 29th of May 2021 as security personnel began to shoot indiscriminately at a show of strength to warn IPOB members of the readiness of the government to protect the citizens. The IPOB had, however, insisted that though it shifted the day from May 30th being a Sunday to allow Christians to worship in their churches, the Monday date, 31st of May, for the Sitatum order remains. The group warned the people to stay in their homes to avoid being killed by stray bullets from security agents who have been deployed by the government in the state. From Enogun to Abakaliki, Umwahia to Akwa, Oweri to Onisha Anaba, the fear of the unknown became thick as the hours for the execution of the IPOB orders drew closer. 
Reports indicated that in virtually all the cities and towns in the zone, citizens had, as early as Thursday the previous week, began to purchase necessities, mostly foodstuffs, in anticipation of the no-movement order. Meanwhile, Governor Umwahi of Ebony State has resigned his decision to seize shops from owners who refused to open them in defense to the IPOB order. Umahi, following the outcry that greeted his for future threat, asked traders in the state to obey the sit at home order. Francis Owenze, in a statement issued on Sunday evening, 30th of May 2021, said the governor acceded the pleas by the residents who said they would like to use the IPOB sit at home day to offer prayers for the repose of the souls of their loved ones who died during the 30 month civil war. Following the development, the governor David Umweze Umahi, who is highly in touch with the people, has directed that those who may wish to remain at home with their shops locked should neither be penalized nor their shops seized, as it is their constitutional right, while the rights of those who may wish to go about their normal businesses should not be infringed upon, as it is equally their constitutional right. Some of the residents were reported to have commenced vigil ahead of the day, while many of them engaged in panic buying, notwithstanding the sudden increase in prices of foodstuffs. The group called IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra, are constituting one of the worst insecurity situations in Nigeria, especially in the eastern part of the country. And it seems as if the federal government cannot stop or neutralize their strength. However, do we think the federal government fears the group in one way or the other? Also, do we think that the government can put an end to the group? According to reports and comments from Nigerians, this might lead to another civil war or a military takeover, which would be best to Nigeria in this situation. Let's know your take. Drop your comment in the comment section as we wrap up now. It's been an awesome time with all of us. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly click the subscription button and notification bell to always get updates from Nebo TV. Follow us on our various social media handles, our Instagram and Facebook page at Nebo TV. My name remains Agbaje Onome. I am definitely going to see you next time. So stay safe. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.